Welcome back to another episode of Mobile Suit Gun Down the Witch for Mercury. How to break last week. A quick recap of the important thing that's happened so far. Gwell got trounced. Kind of disowned by parents. Not really, but daddy's still paying for tuition. Remember that. Hey, at least he got that going. He seems to be watching the duel of Eran and Suleta in like a farmland kind of place. I hope that he joins the Earthian uh, dorms. Because there seems to be like barn animals in the Earthian dorms. And where he's at might be near there i'm not sure but i hope that there's a redemption arc coming for him because they, they can't set him up for such such like bottom he's like rock bottom right now i'm not sure if he can actually go lower but it's looking pretty bad for him and i'm actually i'm actually starting to pity for him which is kind of fucked because we started the season off with him being such a douchebag i'm like i want this guy to go down i'm like please stop he's already dead important redemption arc please please i hope so and then the most of the our episode was suleta and eran doing a duel Eran is a modified human number four, meaning there's three other test subjects. Also, Eran isn't Eran. He has a duplicate. There seems to be a main Eran that's completely different persona. More cocky, more extroverted, more engaging. And then there's the Eran that we know who is kind of quiet and like an ice prince. He, at the end, lost to Suleta because Suleta is the main character. But it seems like he died. Did he actually die? And this is so fucked because we, all we wanted to do was, you know, hang out with him and go on a date and ask him for his birthday. And we, you know, we were going to meet and Suleta got ghosted and Eran got just torched at the end. Is that really what happened? I hope that he's not actually dead, but knowing Gundam, he might actually be dead. And they might actually just get another in like an enhanced human. And this human might not even have the memories. I don't know. There seems to be some a little bit of a conspiracy going on behind the scenes with how... They banned the Gundam technology, but they do have one of their witches. Um, like it's like a, she referred to uh, Suleta's mom as a senpai, right? So she's developing on behalf of um, Delling, I guess. And they're doing their shit in the back end, but not everybody really knows what's going on. A little bit of a conspiracy going on. And Suleta, of course, has no idea she's even part of the revenge plot. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well, but... Let's start today's episode. These people <laughs> seem important on the council, or they have some kind of like political clout, so they're allowed to just develop? Okay. This is one of the three branches, right? So this is to oppose Delling. What's an incubation party? Oh, okay, okay. No, that might be fun. Come on, let's go together as a date! The three branches. A speech? On stage? Huh? There... It might not be the Eran that we know, though. This is gonna go bad. Ooh! Damn, she dressed up! She said that she wasn't even, like... She had no interest in going to the party. Suleta looks really nice, too. She had no plans to go to the party. She's like, nah, we shouldn't go. Who cares about that? <laughs> oh, it's her dress. <laughs> she looks the most enthusiastic about this party after saying, let's not go. Wow. Look at this. Look at the... The fucking... The glances that they're giving us. Oof. Miyori doesn't give a shit, though. Yes, ma'am. Oh. It's the other guy. Yes, him. It's his dad that was in the opening scene that said this is important to know about what Delling is doing? I think. Oh, she's changed. Yeah, for Suleta. You know, Miorine doesn't want to admit it, but he's right. Maybe. Another glass, please. Hold up. I'm not the server here. <laughs> what do you give me your glass for? But Nyorine definitely has been influenced by Suleta. Too bad? What do, you, what do you mean too bad? Mother! I know that mom really cares about Suleta, but at the same time... Her sending Suleta out here without fully disclosing the information of the revenge plot... I don't know. I feel like she might be just using her too. Hello, mother-in-law. <laughs> Again? Oh, she's a little meek around Suleta's mom. Okay. 
Oh, right, right, right. We talked shit. We walked in. Right, right, right. She was there. She was there. You're welcome. Yeah, in a meeting where she just called out her dad. Look how she just changes the subject. Doesn't want Soleta to know anything. Mm. No. Oh. Can we use you as a device for our political battle? Hold mm. up. Mother's showing her true colors all of a sudden. And Miurine is like, oh. This cunning lady, she's nothing like Suleta. What's going on here? Well, we were being very unreasonable too, but yes. He, he... Is that mom? Damn. There's some heavy backstory there with mom. What happened I wouldn't doubt it if he tried to use mom for her like, Gundam thing and like she died or I don't know, probably not, but I, I could see something like that happening. But mother has realized, hmm, Miurine could be very useful. Oh? Oh? She is super cunning. Oh, suddenly the light just... <laughs> That scene was really cool how the light got dark all of a sudden and started like deconstructing her. Man, mom has muting and palm of her hand. Hey, what's going on here? So what a careful. Fake Eran. Fake. The, the real Eran, but not the one that we know, right? Oh, Delling. All the key players are showing up. Hmm. The guy in the wheelchair was the one that was like, uh, conspiring in the beginning scene, right? That's not the Eran you know, no. Look at Eran's eyes. His eyes would never look like that. It's always dead, the one that we know. This one is the real Eran, of course. That's very cunning and cocky. Mm. Mm -mm. Lie, 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 liar. Or maybe he himself will show up, but... Man! Suleta is getting led. No, the smile is fake. Even though he's the real deal, this is the fake. Suleta's being used right now. Impaled technology. Wait, wait, wait. You're not supposed to be doing this. She has no idea. Wait. This might not be very good. Because in this big presentation, if we use the holder, Suleta, part of Pale Technologies. When she has no stake in this, I don't think this is very good. <laughs> I, 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 I'm Suleta. Su 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 yes, ma'am. I'm Suleta. <sighs> she is always so nervous. I mean, we've, this is a constant thing that we've seen. It's like episode one. Always stuttering, always so nervous, but big balls. She just fucking goes in whenever she wants, but. Here we go. Here we go. In front of everybody. No, this is what they brought her for. Uh oh. Entangled. I have no idea what you're talking about. No comments. No comment. Don't. This is not good. No, 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 no. Huh? Oh? It is a Gundam. Because Farak was also a Gundam. You got baited so hard. There, all you have is her words, though. You have no <laughs> Look at and I'm just be like, a Gundam? I can't be! Bitch, you brought her here! All you have is Suleta's words. No, no, no. We said that we might have felt something. No, no, no. It's a drone. All you have is her words, though. No, 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 it's just the words, then prove it with technology. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, they made their own Gundam. Okay, so this is... What kind of logic is that? This is all, yeah, therefore you need to also destroy your own. 
But does that make sense? Pale technology. We created our own Gundam a long time ago, before she even came to our school. Just so that we could bait her out and claim that she has a Gundam, and then we'll, we'll destroy ours, right? It's like, what the fuck? Come on. Anyone can see through this, right? Mom, please. I mean, we do know that it is a Gundam, though, right? I mean, it is, though. Assuming Ariel wasn't, like, changed after Episode Zero, they were developing Gundam technology, so it's not really alive. But, like, you can see how she's getting set up so hard here. It's not like Delling ever gave a shit, though. He said that I don't care if it's not a Gundam or not. Oh? Who said that? Was that Mionine? Let's go, fiance! Oh. The president's daughter has stepped up. To obviously call out this bullshit that you guys set up? Okay, that too! <laughs> Let's go, Mionine! <laughs> oh, we got a... Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna show us some... Some, uh, what, what's, what's the word? I forget the exact word for it, but like cost-benefit analysis to justify why this is a good or a bad deal. <laughs> Numbers, yes. Mm, I'm following along for sure. Miyori, you had this all planned out? Just go along with it. Just, just go with it. <laughs> gunned arm. Not a gun dam, gunned arm. Hmm. This is getting interesting. Is Mionina really countering them right now? Damn. A pinch is a chance, and she just used what was just such a grave moment into her own business opportunity, and she actually gets the funding for this. If. <laughs> Never mind, it's not going up. Come on, guys! Oh no. Here comes father. Oh, we had a good performance, but... but who put up such a show? Come on, somebody! Somebody, please! No, 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 no! I love how he always gets so personal at the end! Oh, he regrets. Picks her shoes off. Huh? Huh? Okay. Where you, where's she going all of a sudden? Is she running to get mom? Is that what she was alluding to before? Okay. Maybe mom can save us right now. But she's outside busy with uh, Gwell's family. Do you think Delin would invest of all people? What's your... What's your trump card, though? Why would he help, though? He just called you out and just... What benefit would he get? I mean, if this company actually becomes profitable and does well, then maybe, but... Did he just accept it? That's not a no! Did he just bail us up? I mean, dang! That's something! That's something, right? Now everyone else is gonna probably just... Yeah. As soon as they saw Delin put a little bit in, everyone's like, shit, well, if he's doing it, <laughs> alright, let's fucking go in! Father just bailed us out! I'm conflicted! I... Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? There, it's so great. There's no... I don't know. Okay, the secret's out even though it's not a secret. It was only a secret to uh, Suleta. It is a gun down. Now, let's think about why Delin just helped us out. Thematically, so far, Miurine and Delin, not very good. Not at all. If anything, he's the last person to help Miurine out. Unless, personal benefit. What? How does this benefit him, right? You remember in the beginning of the episode, how they were with the Pale Technologies and the other branches, they want to kind of topple Delling. That's been a the theme from the beginning. We saw even Gwell's family, um, the dad, trying to always like, um, there was like an assassination plot against Delling in the beginning. But 
I bet you everybody wants, it's an arms race. Everybody wants a Gundam technology. If Pale Technologies has already developed their own, and that's the funniest bullshit. It's like, oh yeah, we've been developing this, but since it was just to get Ariel out and, you know, expose that she is also Gundam, we'll, we'll back off and we'll, do, you know, just we'll get rid of our Gundam technology. And like, that's all bullshit. Everybody wants a piece of the Gundam pie and Delling is getting it right here. That's why he invested. That's definitely why he's helping out because he has his other plans. Again, it's just an arms race. How is this all turning out though? I I don't know. This is crazy. It, it's such like a battle royale. I don't know who's coming out on top, but Delling at the end helping us out. Crazy. Mom, more mysterious than ever. The, the, the mom is, I, I don't know. Like, just naturally because she's Suleta's mom, I feel like I should trust her. But the way she operates, so cunning and so mysterious. It's like, can I really trust her? I don't know. But one thing's for true. Mionine and Suleta, that ship. It's it's done. It's 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 sailed. It's Mione. No matter how much she doesn't want to acknowledge that she doesn't care about Suleta or that she's not changing, she's been affected so hard. And she went out of her way to save Suleta at the end. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can't wait to see how the story progresses from here on out. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube I go push that my sponsor channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.